Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, welcome back to Louisiana, and it's a chilly day here in Louisiana. So I've got my long sleeves on, my hands in my pocket. We're ready to get going, though. So Hemiway reached out to us. Very excited to kind of show you this. There's a couple things up front here. 100,000 riders choice, 80 mile on a charge. So we're going to test that and see that. One of the things that we notice is that uh, a lot of bikes claim you can get some distance out of them. We'll see how far we can actually go. It says 40% more range. So this is the Zebra. It is a 26 inch tire bike with four inch wide wheels. Can't wait to kind of show you this one here. It's got a very special paint scheme. You can see here, limited edition. So I'm excited to see it myself. I'm excited to show you guys. And let's just get into it. One of the things that I will show you, uh, it says please keep the original packaging for at least 15 days. It's because they have a warranty on there that you can send the bike back if you're not happy with it. Generally, I cut the box right down, but I think I'm gonna open it this time like maybe you should. That way I'll kind of show you how to open it and make sure that you can kind of keep the box, make sure everything's okay with the bike and we can go from there. So I'll just cut along the seams. Pop open these big staples. Wow, look at this color. It's like a baby blue almost. What would you call that, Amy? You are the color person, not me. Baby blue? Yeah. Pretty color. All right, so this is a limited edition. This is a really cool paint scheme here. Florida edition, so we'll put it all together. I'll show you how to put it together, and then we'll take it out for a ride and um, see how it performs. Wow, that is nice. Check this out. Southernmost point, 90 miles to Cuba, continental USA. Key West. Oh man, I think we're gonna have to take this to Key West. Oh, this is so <laughs> cool. Oh, look at this. Love getting surprises. Nice little hat. I will have to say too, that Hemiway also sent us a uh, helmet that I'm gonna show you. Really, really nice looking helmet. Here's our light, our bracket, pedals, Front wheel. Oh, nice little set of Allen keys and wrenches. We've seen these before, right, Amy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome. Nice. Great little tool. Nice little case here. Everything comes in. Keep everything together. A charger. Let's see what size charger they sent us. I like it. It's a heavy charger. Two amp charger. We have got the instruction manual here. We don't need that. That's why you're watching this video, right?
All right, guys, we're here today with the Zebra from Hemiway. This is a custom paint job bike. It's the Florida Limited Edition. A couple things that I will say about this here bike is that, first of all, I think you need to stop and look at that paint job. Like, it's absolutely beautiful. This color and the custom paint on it is kind of cool. So a lot of people are going to stop you and ask you about this bike. <laughs> We've got a 750 watt hub motor back here. We've got hydraulic disc brakes. You can see we've got Kenda 26 inch, four inch wide tires here. This is a really neat addition. It's kind of pretty with this wood on here. It also has a backlight. It's got a reflector back here and a backlight. The Hemiway lights up. It's also comes on when the headlights come on and then we can show that the light comes on when the brake comes on. It's got a really nice, soft, big saddle on here. Comes with rear and front fenders. These are also plastic. The metal ones I like, but they tend to rattle, so I like these a lot better. Uh, one of the things I will say that I really like about this bike are these hand grips. It's kind of funny when you test a lot of these bikes a lot of the things are the same but just a little differences but these are wide they're big beefy they're perfect for me also this has a twist throttle it's the first one that i have tested and i really like it it may sound silly but you've got a lot of uh, room here and then also your thumb don't get tired from pushing it in so i really really like the twist throttle uh, type it also has got once again Shimano shifter, so it's very easy to shift through. It's got a bell. And then you can see on here the display. The display is really nice. Hopefully it comes out well on the camera. Uh, sometimes it has a problem picking up things, but it's very easy to see in the sunlight. It's big. It's got all the information that you need on there. One of the things that I do like down in the bottom here, let's see so that it don't take off. It shows the wattage or the power that's going into your motor. So I, I like seeing that as I'm going. It's got that there. It's got what pedal assist you're in, what your battery level is. I'd really like to have uh, the voltage over here or the percentage, but that's okay. Shows your speed. It's got trip, odometer, all those things that you put in here. And you can scroll through those by pushing M. You've got your max speed. You've got your trip distance your odometer, your average speed, and then just your speed. It's got front suspension up here again that you can adjust for the level of comfort that you like. Uh, also, it has a really nice headlight that lights up really well in, in the nighttime. So I like that as well. We've got hydraulic disc brakes here. And I think that's, that's about it. This is one that I think this is for sure going to be Amy's, uh, Amy's go-to now. I know we've said this a couple times, but they keep getting better and better and better. So she really likes this one. I think the reason that she really likes this one is the color and the paint scheme is just really different. And it's a nice bike to ride. So if this is something, if you live in Florida, you got to check this out. I don't know if it's still available, but uh, go on there, check it out. But the Zebra is a really good bike. I wanted to say also the battery in here is a 20 amp our battery as well and put the key in here there's a button here that you adjust here you can pop it back out so one of the things that I think that I, that some people ask uh, is it waterproof I don't think you can go into deep water with it but we've had it out in the rain and stuff and we don't have any issues at all so it's pretty well protected inside of here uh, another thing I will say this is an upgrade that we did Initially, it was straight out, and, and as it's a mountain bike type, you're kind of putting a lot of weight on your hands and your arms, but this addition here allowed me to kind of put the handlebars up and pull them back a little bit, and as far as comfort while riding, I think this has been a really, really big upgrade, so I really, really like this. And this here is available on their website. You can check that out. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I wanted to welcome you back today. Today we are here 
with the Zebra from Hemiway. It is a 20 amp hour uh, Samsung LG battery 26 inch fat tire bike and we're going to take it out and take it on a spin for you and kind of go over all the information here. One of the things I will say uh, when I was on packing I said we we're going to take it to Florida. We did take it to Florida but the horrible YouTubers that we are um, we went there to visit a cousin of mine and spent most of the time just kind of hanging out and we did go out riding but we didn't film any uh, we just wanted to kind of have um, fun with with family and it's a good chance to meet them I don't get a chance to meet them that often they live in Canada and I'm way down here in the US and then spent half my time in the Caribbean so anyway that was fun uh, so no pictures or video of us driving on sandy beaches which i did take it on the sand in all honesty amy is the one that did most of the riding on this one here i rode on a different bike that i have um, but anyway today i'm going to take it out i'm going to go through pedal assist modes in just throttle only and then i'm going to go through pedal assist mode with pedaling one of the things i will say is that the throttle only is going to be kind of short because in one through five you're going to get max power out of the throttle so uh, it's like some of these other bikes that uh, we've tested that uh, instead of limiting the power in each of the power assist or pedal assist modes, it gives the maximum amount of power. So I'm going to show you what that is. I'm going to show you the speed there. And then what I'll do is I'll take a little bit more time and go through pedal assist when I'm actually pedaling. This is a front suspension bike, but it doesn't have back suspension. So far, riding on the road and riding through grass and riding on the sand hasn't been any problem at all, but I probably would like to get maybe a uh, suspension post that has a, a shock in it, and, and that would probably suffice. So let's start up. Uh, let's start in pedal assist one right here, and we'll do throttle only, and we'll give it a shot and see what speed we got here. I do like the twist throttle. It's the first twist throttle that I've had, and I like it a lot. It, you know, um, your thumb kind of gets tired with the other one. Honestly, I don't use mostly uh, throttle anyway. I generally will put it on pedal assist and pedal with it, typically in three or four. But right now you can see we're in pedal assist one and we're doing 24.8, almost 25 miles per hour. Same thing on the GPS, it'll get back up to 24 and a half, and I'll increase pedal assist two, pedal assist three, pedal assist four, pedal assist five. You'll see there's no change in it. Uh, there will be a change when I'm pedaling, but for right now, there's no change uh, just using throttle only. But the great thing about tw uh, throttle assist, or sorry, the great thing about a twist throttle is that it's easy to kind of uh, put a limited amount of power in. So you can see I'm going around at 16, 15, 12, 11, 10, and I can easily manipulate the throttle to get the speed that I want. So right now I'm just doing nine. Say you're on a sidewalk or something like that, eight. Then I can increase. Very easy to control it. So I do like that. So let's go back to pedal assist one and I'll start pedaling. And I'm in pedal assist one, I'm in the third gear. And right now I am doing 12 miles per hour and I'll wait for the GPS to catch up to show you that the GPS and the display are very close on this bike. So we're at 12.5 on the display, 12.5 on the GPS. So we'll increase and we'll increase our gears as well. And then pedal assist two here, we're doing 16 miles per hour on the display. Give it a chance for the GPS to catch up. It's a little slower and you can see we're doing 16 here. So I haven't put a lot of miles on this. I've put 39 miles on it so far. Haven't tested the distance of the 20 amp hour Samsung LG battery. It's a lithium battery. But I expect that this bike would probably do between 40 and 50 miles uh, when I'm in pedal assist three and I'm pedaling. That's generally the way that I'll test them.
and I'll increase once I go through this stop sign. Pedal assist three, and we're doing right at 20 miles per hour. Beautiful day here in Louisiana. Probably a nicer day in Florida. Uh, this bike deserves to be in Florida. It'd be nice if this bike was in Key Rest right now. I'd die. I would like to test this bike in Key Rest. But we are in Louisiana doing 19.6, 19.6 on both of them. So we'll increase to four. I'm in top gear now. I'm in seventh gear. No ghost pedaling, no problem at all. I'm sorry. It is, yeah. You like to have an electric bike? Yeah. I am. I am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we test out bikes. I am not famous. Nope. <laughs> that would be great if I was famous like Mr. Beast. You need, you need to look up Gen X pads. That's who I am. You can help me be famous. I think you're going to be on one right now. Yep, I'm filming right now. <laughs> so look up Gen X Pats, G E N X P A T S, and then you will you will see yourself on video. <laughs> well, that was fun. All right, we are in pedal assist four in Top Gear, and. I don't know where I was before I was talking to those kids, <laughs> but we are doing 23 miles per hour now in pedal assist four in seventh gear. And I am not ghost pedaling at all. I'm having no problem at all. Can pedal like this for a long time. 23 miles per hour, 22.8 miles per hour on the display. So they're very, very close. And then I will say as well, I'll get over here to the stop sign. I generally don't test the brakes. They, they all kind of do about the same thing, but I will just show we've got hydraulic brakes on here. So going up to the stop sign, no problem. All right, now we're in pedal assist five and we're in top gear. So this will be the maximum that this bike can do. And it's gonna hit 25. 25 on the display, 24.8, 24.5, 24.6, and that's it. One of the other things that I've been asked to show people, you are, you already are. So what I'll do is I'll go down and sometimes people want to see just pedaling. So pedal assist zero. No problem pedaling these this bike, even though it has big tires at 10, 11 miles per hour. So if you ran out of battery, no problem, get home. It's got a really nice big light on the front. It's got front suspension. Let's get up to pedal assist three. Really love the color scheme of this bike very pretty gets a lot of attention love the big grips here very comfortable like the twist throttle and the gear set up because there's nothing in the way of my thumb sometimes i find when you get a finger shifter and a thumb shifter the thumb shifter kind of gets in the way and it's kind of a little bit annoying it's kind of funny what you notice when you ride these bikes for a long time or the different types of bikes and the different styles, what you like, what you don't like. I think the things that I really like is I really like the twist throttle. Really, really love the twist throttle on this bike. Love the fact that the battery is kind of hidden here in the frame. Love the paint color or the paint scheme on here. Front and rear fenders are a plus so you don't get wet. Rear rack so you can take things with you very well balanced some of them are not but no problem sitting up straight no hands sometimes you do get tired leaning over i think it's a really well put together bike 
very solid construction. I think it's probably going to be Amy's go-to bike. Hey, I wanted to give another big shout out to Hemiway as well for sending us this helmet. Uh, really like it. It's got a light on the back. And then it also has a really nice light on, on the front here. Um, we have lights on the bike that shine really nice, but it's really good when you're walking to and from the bike. Uh, it works really well. So that's it, guys. Please leave us a comment. Give us a big thumbs up. Let us know if you have any questions. Check out the link in the description below to be able to get this zebra at a discounted rate. And as always, we can't wait to meet you out there. So now that I think about it, I'm not sure if I'm wearing this thing the right way or not. Um, let, me, let me see. Uh, let's see. You know, our fearless leader kind of showed us that this might be the correct way to wear the helmet with, uh, you know, the adjustment here in the front. And then what's great is you got this light in the back, so that way you can kind of see where you came from as opposed to seeing where you're going. So that may work out better. So let us know in comments below what you think.